Hey guys, so a lot of ex-Rudy fans have contacted me, and they're not doing very well. I've been offered cards at 40% of comps, which is very, very low, and I couldn't even take them because the cards were, you know, they were just modern and standard garbage, and at 40%, you'd think you would be able to buy these boxes, but it's just not feasible right now because there's nowhere to move them. Um, Magic the Gathering is always about the new hottest box, right? And that would be Ram the Cover Remastered, where every other pack has a shock land. So the shock lands will probably plummet. So I think Rudy is wrong about the shock lands. Um, he's assuming they're 10 to $15 a piece. That is not going to be true very soon, uh, given the amount that you can open of each of these products, right? So anyway, just putting that out there. I think Rudy was doing math. I think a lot of Rudy's math is wrong. The shock lines thing is pretty, pretty bad because he's assuming that the shock line price will not go down. But if the shock lines are that common, they are absolutely going to crash. And that's a assumption that you can make. I'm, I'm positive they're not going to be $10, $15 once more people open the product. Now, in addition to investing in Magic the Gathering, right now is not the time, in my opinion. There are a lot of people who are trying to get out, and they have no way to get out. They don't really know how to sell cards. I've always said about this, liquidity, 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 and no one knows. Everyone knows how to buy. Very few people actually know how to sell. Uh, they just buy, 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 and this is a terrible thing. So suddenly... Their mom go ends up in the hospital. God forbid, you know, not you know, knocking wood for the mom. Their girlfriend has a issue. You're, you're starting a family. How the f are you going to sell this shit? No, I, I mean I'm proposing you a, a problem because the the problem is the volume of these new older sets are not very high. War of the Spark is not selling for a lot of money, and it's not the volume is not very high. Um, because it's always the new, the newest set. It's always the newest set has the most reprints, and, and I do think that people are getting very, very desperate. I think people are getting panicking. I think people are realizing they invested ten thousand to a hundred thousand dollars in things they cannot sell, and this is very, very unfortunate because now they need money. Uh, emergencies, um, winter storm medical emergencies and, and this is something that you can watch on youtube dave ramsey and stuff they always tell you hey have an emergency fund but people's emergency funds seem to be magic cards which is absolutely insane right so in my opinion i think we got to stop buying this stuff or at least investing in it it's not an investment the s&p 500 is an investment this type of product is i mean it's going to zero I think Rudy knows that too. Like Meta Zoo, like the boxes are at twenty dollars a box. Like how much lower can you go? Because you have to ship the box out. Um, cards, you know, were were sold as an investment, and they're no longer an investable asset because no one wants it, and there's too much of it. Just take take Meta Zoo for instance. Um, people were paying five hundred dollars a box of Nightfall First Edition. People were paying, I think, 900 a box of Cryptid Nation First Edition. And you look at the price now, it's not even the price is so low, it's a volume. There is no volume left. I mean, there's no liquidity, there's no buy list for MetaZoo. Rudy himself does not buy MetaZoo cards or MetaZoo sealed. So that's kind of a big red flag. And he's continuing to sell magic. I, even though he hates Wizard of the Coast and hates management, he still pumps up magic like no one else, right? He's still pumping out Return to Ram the Cut or Ram the Cut Remastered. Everyone and their grandmother knows that this is a terrible set. Everyone and their grandmother knows that this is not a good set to invest in. Everyone and their grandmother knows that when you start opening dual lands and you get a dual land every two packs, every two packs has a dual land or no, sorry, a shock land. Every two packs has a shock land. Well, then the shock line price is not going to be where it used to be. The only person who doesn't know this is the Alpha Investment Lemming, who who believes, oh, wow, this is a great investment. Man, I'm going to get so much money in dual lands. 
or a Shocklands. I think at the end of the day, like this, like there's nothing you can do in uh, Magic: The Gathering investment space that hasn't already been done before, it hasn't already been tried before, it hasn't already been sold or bought before. So when you're becoming innovative and you're thinking about what you can do in the space, it's already been done. Um, I, I think a lot there's a lot of desperate Timmies out there. And they're listening to his advice, and they're saying, "Wow, I, he's right. Look at all these shock lands that are ten to fifteen dollars, and I'm going to get so many of them, and I'll pay back the box." When in fact, you know, the shock lands are not going to be ten to fifteen dollars for very much longer, or if that at all. As more and more, I mean, the shock lands are just like candy, right? They're just they're so common that um, they're so common that it doesn't make any sense. So anyway, that was something that I felt should be said. Um, yeah, so you just love to you just have to love Rudy Math. So if a shock land goes to five to ten dollar per card and you average eight per box, that's one hundred dollars value in a single thing, right? Didn't he say ten to fifteen dollars a piece? Your math isn't mathing. These collector boxes are going to crash hard due to quality quantity of shock lands being pulled per box i'm surprised timmy has enough money to left to keep getting hammered yeah yikes man um yeah i mean this is not a good investment return to round the cock round the curry mastered is not a good investment right i don't think anyone can say it is but apparently timmy believes it's a great Great investment.